Hello everyone, like it is mentioned in previous video, I decided to go with the, putting the thermic fuse on the aluminum plate itself. The reason of that, <coughs> I forgot the conductivity of silicone. So like, as you remember, I tried to bury the thermic fuse in the mat itself, but it's not a good idea, don't do it. But if you want, you can just put your thermistor uh, without silicone and put silicone on them you can try with that but i will try to go with putting the term uh, fuse on directly the aluminum plate itself so it's easy to change if i need to and the another thing is i learned that there is thermal runaway protection for the bed also in clipper and yeah i can say that the the, the silicone is very good at sticking I can say that my our bed is finished this will be the thermic fuse this will be the earth connection and we put the mat we did also put our magnetic sheet so now let's start with the gantry hello everyone today we will continue with the gantry and we will start with the front idler assembly again we need to use bearing this time this is f 695 this is the bearing that came with the kit like 625 these are the zz type i will not using these ones i will use recommended uh, rs type same thing it is just the ceiling is just plastic but i will use the recommended one with this bearing we will create stacks this should be the assembly yeah, i mean assembly should be like this again in like in the z idlers this moving part this excellent part is for the tensioning your x and y belts and also we will put bearing stacks in here bearing stacks will be two m5 sheen and two uh, f 695 bearing stacks will be like this a sheen bearing bearing and another sheen and this will be holded by m540 socket heads but before doing that i will check these holes we will not create a thread with the screw so screw needs to be freely in and out in here and three by four will be placed in here yeah okay it's going freely if this case in your screw is not moving freely in here just use your n3 bits with cordless drill and extend this hole a bit yeah with this screw we will uh, we will fine tune the tension of the belts i can continue with the stack oh i couldn't find an easier way but i'm simply placing the screw and with the help of the tweezers, I'm placing the stacks pieces. So first M5 shim, one bearing and one upside down bearing, last shim. Oh, we will put M5 nuts. Again, these are the movable parts. This screw is only holding the bearing stacks. The only function is that, so don't over tighten it. It should move relatively free. Next is AB drives M55 30, two of them for the bearing stacks M3 by 30, three of them mm, Now we will create our bearing stacks By the way, for the bearing stacks, basically it's the same For one bearing, you need to use shim first, then bearing, and bearing, and shim This is your default bearing stacks For here, one shim bearing upside down bearing and another ship here we will do same thing but we will create two bearing stack so shim bearing one shim for this one another shim for next one so two shim bearing bearing last shim hold the bearing stacks and yeah and on the plastic there are already the threads you are printing like that don't over tighten it again these are just for holding the bearings this m3 by 30 will be mounted on the stepper motor so by the way you need two bearing in here two bearing stack so one of them is two bearing one of them is one bearing stack 
with the same for the other side uh, since there is a plastic bar only the one bearing stick is cutting in here so one bearing here two bearing here for the other parts i don't know by heart which one is a which one is b but we can see it yeah this is the one bearing stick and these are the two bearing sticks 3 by 30 30 30 as you can see the screws are i can say the flush with the plastic part and they are moving freely we will install our pulleys on the motor shaft for now i will not thread locker i will not do the fine tuning for that so assembling whole drive parts i will align them and apply thread lock on them for the grab screws so to align your motor there is a Voron logo on the part your cable or connector of the stepper motor should be opposite direction Voron part and cable carefully tightening these screws so these will be the holding the parts together these will be tight but not that much check the pulleys they are moving freely I have just checked the cat pile of the Voron. By the way, it's very helpful while you are building it. I advise you to download some CAD software. For example, Fusion 360 is free for the educational use. You can use it without paying anything. And uh, also you can find all the rules like I said in the GitHub. So what I figure out is one of the pulleys will be upside down, but the one of the we will use like normal way because of the orientation the key thing is our pulleys needs to be aligned with the one bearing stack not the two uh, bearing stacks so for this i can use this pulley upside down because my one stack bearing is in the downside i will also align the flat uh, part of my rod I, like i said i'm putting upside down i don't know if you can see or not I don't want to use that much thread locker because this is already the um, I will align with the bear, one bearing step. Yeah, if you have spare belts, you can use it. It will help you just cut a little piece and route it. It's aligned. I aligned it. I applied thread locker and one of the screw is sitting on the flat part of the rotor. So everything seems fine. Now I will screw the second one. Now we will do the same thing for the other drive. The difference will be our will be placed like this. The thick part look in the motor. For the second one, it helped me to flushing the pulleys and the rotors in the top part. It's aligned automatically. You can try that one. It may work on your part also. Of course, check your bearing stacks. They are moving freely or not. We need to mount this part also. Yeah, this is the... I think this is the... Yeah, cable cover for the cable chain, you know, between the Y cable chain and the gantry cable chain. But I will not mount this right now. First, I want to run my wire. Second, we need to put another part. We, we need to put this part in here, also place in here. So it's covering that place. So I will mount these pieces later on.